Hello and welcome to my Vezin guide. I'm Chili Papa or Kagen sometimes. Vezin's one of the four random champions that can be unlocked by registering with the Steam account. Uh, the other three are Icor, he's a support tank, uh, Balak, who's a ranged DPS, and Kairi, who's a melee DPS. Now, Vezin's an AoE DPS. He does magic damage with his auto attacks, and he does magic damage with his abilities. All magic. Don't build armor against him. Don't run around his armor pen, Vezin. It's not going to work very well. Now, of his four normal abilities, his Q is going to ground target AoE. It's going to drop a snare 15%, and it's going to drop a good amount of damage. It's fairly mana efficient. Um, you want to try to get creeps in it as well. As we'll see later, you get a creep advantage. His W is a two-part. If you cast it on an ally or yourself, you get a damage AoE and you get some mana back. So it's a really cheap spell because you're returning part of the cost. But if you cast it on an enemy, it's a three-second silence and it's going to remove a portion of their maximum mana. So it's really good in the laning phase when they have mana problems. They can either run or die. Now, his E ability is Vortex. It's going to stun them and pull them towards the center. So it's a really easily, it's really easy to combo it with your Q. Um, it's also really good to pull people in place while other, your team kills them. And his R ability, Arena of Death, it puts a wall a good distance away from him. And if you're in, touching that wall and you move, you're going to get stunned and you're probably going to die. It's a really long stun and a lot of damage. And it's probably going to get comboed. So let's see how he works in game. Um, as I said, your Q is going to be your poke when you're laning. Try to catch as many creeps and as many enemy immortals. Uh, you want to kill off their creeps so that your creeps start attacking them and their creeps can't attack you back because it hurts. He's also very strong when he's ganking from the brush because he can use Vortex to hold them while everybody else dog piles on them. And I use my R there to prevent Cyclic Zen from interfering the fights, carrying the kill for our team. Now, here we see a Nysus who's really badly out of position. She gets caught by a Vortex and killed by her entire team. Uh, a little bit later on, on top, uh, we had a team fight, and you'll see why I built so tanky. Because this other Vezin is not built nearly as tanky, and he pops his R right there way too early, and it just kind of fades out. Whereas I drop mine later and prevent them from running, where Tatiana's also using her ult, and pretty much killing them all. And by the time my arena fades out, it's too late. They're trying to run with the slivers of light, and they can't flash. Over here. So we pushed mid, and now we're pushing down the bottom tower. Uh, the super minions will actually go for the other towers rather than going straight for the centaur shrine. And I dropped that R there just to make sure that we could kill the tower without being molested by the other team. Uh, it effectively kept them out, and at that point, they, they're out of towers. So we want that, and on to a new game. This Nysus gets stuck by a Vortex, and the Balak runs straight into it, and the Nysus is already so beat up that she can't help him. Later on, we dove that same Balak, uh, but him and Psycho Zen learned important lessons. Fear the minions, they do a lot of damage. Fear the towers, they also do a lot of damage. So here I am showing off how you can kite someone around with a good amount of CC coming out of Bezin because this guy can't really do anything and he really wants that Nysus and he just can't get to it because I keep throwing CC on him. A really useful character, a lot of utility. I usually build movement speed and cooldown reduction so I can spam my spells faster and get to the fights. I build a ruby pendant. It gives you a lot of health, health regen, and armor. I also build barracks opus. It gives me a lot of magic resist, a little bit of health, and it cuts down on the auto attack stuff. Penman's Absorber, which armor, health, and health regen. Mage Slayers give me the mana and mana regen that I need to keep casting spells. A Twin Soul Amulet is just kind of everything. Armor, magic, resist, health, mana, and cooldown reduction. And if you really want to get tanky, you could swap into the Cured Hide Boots. But 
they're not as fast. Lytle Trinket's really good for laning. It'll give you a bit of health and mana regen every time you cast a spell. And the Ring of the Ball works really for later game if an auto attacker is really beating you up. Well, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for some other champion strategy guides.